Protesters with the Idle No More movement are vowing to continue their action. This weekend, they staged nationwide demonstrations, blocking border crossings and rail lines. In the meantime, Ottawa Chief Teresa Spence still refuses to eat solids in her bid to draw attention to issues facing First Nations communities in Canada. A lot of voices, but is the message clear? Joining us now to try and answer that question is our chief political correspondent, Tom Clark. Tom, there are a lot of people involved here. Idle no more. Chief Spence, the Assembly of First Nations. So who speaks for the First Nations communities? Well, Robin, that question really is at the heart of a bigger political battle being waged within the Aboriginal community itself. The leaders of the Idle No More group have no faith in the elected chiefs, saying, in fact, that their group doesn't even recognize their legitimacy because their position, the chief's position, stems from the Indian Act, which Idle No More opposes. Now, the chiefs, especially National Chief Sean Atlio, say that while they admire the goals of Idle No More, they are the legitimate leaders. After all, it is the chiefs and not the protest group that are meeting with the Prime Minister next Friday. But the chiefs know that their role and their strategy is under attack from within. The real question is, how much of a long-term threat is that to the chiefs? What do they want to come out of this week's meeting with the Prime Minister? Well, it's a real moving target. Chief Spence originally wanted a meeting with Stephen Harper and the Governor General. Now she wants a whole series of meetings and she wants them to go very well. Idle No More, on the other hand, wants the repeal of the budget omnibus bill, C-45, because it changes laws dealing with waterways, the environment and native lands, and they say they weren't consulted. Well, removing that bill from the table, that's just simply not going to happen, according to the government. You know, at the heart of all of this is for frustration and despair and the fact that no one can make that go away quickly. All right. Thanks very much, Tom.